Okay, y'all. We back. We back. We are back. We are back. Listen. Baby, listen. God is so good. God is so great. Come on. Let's come on back in. Let's finish off this prayer. Hallelujah. Let's finish off this prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had to switch. I don't know what what's this about, but let's jump back into this prayer. Hallelujah. Get back into it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's begin to get jump back on. So we stopped off and we were putting all doubt and we were we were saying that um, we were breaking the curses of destruction in our life, in our family, in our bloodline, because doubt is destruction to your destiny. Hallelujah. We are no longer doubting. We're putting off the doubt. Hallelujah. So begin to cry out. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, God. We thank you, Father, that there's nothing that can separate us from your love. No, there's nothing that can stop us, oh God, from moving forward in your word and believing you, God, and trusting you. That even, even when opposition comes against us, even in the technical difficulties, God, we can still come before you, God. Your word is still true. No matter what comes against us, God, we still believe you. We don't doubt, Father. We still decide to press forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Because because we are redeemed from destruction. Hallelujah. I am redeemed. Begin to shout that out. I am redeemed from destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalms 103 and 4 says. He who redeems your life from the pit. And crowns you with love and compassion. Father you have delivered us. You have redeemed us from destruction. And you've crowned us with love and compassion. And because of that God. We cry out to you God. Begin to send your word. Begin to deliver us from the destruction God. We cry out to you God. Hallelujah. When we cry out to you in our trouble God. You save us from our distresses. Hallelujah. You sent your word and healed us, God, and rescued us from our destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, your way is righteous. Hallelujah. You are righteous in all of your ways, God. You are righteous in everything that you do. Hallelujah. You are near to those that call on you. So we call on your name, God. Hallelujah. We call on you, Father. You fulfill our desires for those who fear you. This is Psalms 145. Hallelujah. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears the cries and save them. Father, we thank you for fulfilling our desires, even the desires of our hearts that you have placed there, God, because we discern these in the spirit and we receive them in the spirit, Father. We are able to receive and obtain them because we put off our doubt, God, because we trust you and believe you, God. You are faithful, God, to fulfill it. You are faithful, God. In the name of Jesus, I will command my mouth to speak praises to you, God. I will praise your holy name. You said, let all every he that have breath praise the Lord, and everything that have breath praise the Lord. So we praise you. We worship you, God. We come out of agreement with doubt and reasoning. In the mighty name of Jesus, no longer will we doubt you. No longer will we reason within ourselves, God. We refuse to be like, like Eve, God, and be beguiled by the enemy. We will not let him trick us out of the promise. In the mighty name of Jesus, when we ask you, God, we believe that it will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you begin to speak to us, God, and reveal those great and mighty things which we did not know unto us God we will receive them God we won't cause them and call them out as foolishness God we won't negate them and neglect them father in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah Jesus we ask that you begin to give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God we want to more know you more intimately God begin to enlighten the eyes of our hearts so that we may know the hope of our calling God begin to strengthen us father with your might by your spirit in our inner man God we know God that the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak begin to strengthen our inner man God begin to cause the spirit of might to fall upon us father hallelujah so that we may press forward 
cause us to be rooted and grounded in love in the mighty name of Jesus. Because if we don't have love, we have nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. You are our king. You are our God. Hallelujah. You decree, you decree victories over our life. We don't trust in our bow and arrows, God, but we put our trust in you. Some trust in horses and some trust in chariots, but we trust in you in the mighty name of Jesus. We boast in you. We are confident in you. We put all of our trust in you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I pray even over our single season, God, even over the seasons that we're in, Father. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Begin to teach us to steward them well, God. Give us the strength to steward our single season well, God. We want to draw closer to you, Abba Father. We receive you as our Father, as our Abba Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for our single season, God. We thank you, Father, that this is a season of healing, and this is a season of growth, and this is a season of self-discovery. This is a season of repentance. This is a season of pruning and correction. This is our season of protection, God. And so, Father, we thank you for this season, God. We don't despise our single season, Father, but we embrace it, oh God. We come into agreement with it, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. As you begin to teach us and prune us and shape us and mold us, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, cause us to grow, God. Begin to let and shower Begin to shower us with your blessings, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, shower your blessings upon my single season, God. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, Father, that you are blessing us. I thank you, God, that you're sending down your blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray against that spirit of loneliness. Hallelujah, God. We understand, Father, that we are not lonely, God. You are always with us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, we are content. Although we may want more, God, we're content with where we are. We're not desperate, God, but we are content, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're taking our season and learning more of you and growing, Father, even as we grow in wisdom, God, cause us to have favor with man and cause us to have favor with, with God. In in the mighty name of Jesus, we need your favor over our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we begin to grow in your wisdom, begin to cause our stature to build. Hallelujah. Just as Jesus began to grow in wisdom and statue, God, you gave him favor with God and with man. In the mighty name of Jesus, cause us to have favor upon our life. We understand that we are chosen by you and we are blessed by you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Keep our minds pure, God. We keep our bodies pure, God. Keep our thoughts pure, God. Keep our speech pure, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we present our bodies as living sacrifices, God. Holy and acceptable unto you. That's our reasonable service, God. That's the least that we can do, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we give you glory, Father. We give you honor. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you for the renewing of our minds. We thank you, oh God, for bringing back the remembrance, bringing back our remembrance, God, of your scripture, of your word, of your precepts. For that being true, we have something to stand on, God. We have your word to hold on to, God. We have your the sword of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. We accept your truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, we won't be foolish Hallelujah. But we are wise. We are prosperous in the mighty name of Jesus. We are blessed going in and blessed going out. Hallelujah. Our borns are filled. Come on. There is no lack in us, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have everything that we need. You are the Lord, our shepherd. We shall not want because we have everything that we need. We have your spirit.
spirit that walks with us, that talks with us, that teaches us and trains us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The destroyer cannot, the destroyer of destruction cannot destroy my prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You've called us to be prosperous, God. We won't stand in our own way. We won't stand in your way, Father. But we believe you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hamakosiabai. Father, we give you glory, Father. We cancel all the plans and forces of the evil one that's sent against our life. We cancel it now in the mighty name of Jesus. No, no, no weapon, God. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah, Jesus. Begin to raise the standard, God. For we are protected, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we don't be dismayed, God. We we have no reason to fear, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. But let our faith increase, God, in the name of Jesus. As we come to your feet, as we believe your word, God, cause our faith to increase, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. As we begin to be faced with trials and tribulations, God, cause us not to lose faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of our belief, God, help the unbelief of your people. Begin to cause them to believe you, God, and trust you are in the name of Jesus. Whew, Father, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. We glorify you, God. We glorify you, God. We glorify you, God. Oh, mama, you don't go see about. We have strong faith. We have big faith. Hallelujah, Jesus. We don't doubt. Hama kosia bayro kosia ba. We don't doubt. Come on, we don't doubt. Hando kosia ba. In the name of Jesus, and Father, we give you glory. We give you honor, God, and we give you the praise. Hallelujah. We seal our prayers, Father, with the spirit of expectation. Hama kosia ba. As we come, as we come into agreement, Father, with the words that you have spoken over our lives, as we come into agreement in war for every prophetic word that you have spoken to us, God, hallelujah, we receive it by faith. We don't doubt. We don't doubt. We know that by your power, it's already done. And so for that, we give you praise. Listen, you guys be blessed. Shake off doubt. Shake off worry. Shake off reasoning. Come on, you're not going to reason when the Lord tells you to do something. Do it. Don't start questioning, trying to make sense of it. You know, even those small things, he will begin to train you with the small things. I can remember small things as... as little ass telling me to get an umbrella before I walked out the door and I reason within myself like what am I gonna need an umbrella for it's not raining and I get down the road sometime down the day and needed the umbrella or I've had him suggest that I get something bring something from my house and I'm like what I'm bringing all this extra stuff for it's just because of the place that I was going, someone else was needing it. So we need to begin to put off reasoning that will cause you to miss a move of God trying to reason within yourself. Listen, I'm going to share this quick testimony and then we're going to jump off. I can remember when I was going through the home buying process. God began to tell me now is the time because we have been talking about it. He told me I can gave me prophetic words about you can have the house. Yeah, you can have it. Go get it. But I didn't step out on faith to go get it. But then every time when I thought that I was stepping out on faith to see what I needed to do to go through the process. I stepped out, but then I stopped because I took my eyes off of him. 
you know, I talked to a few realtors actually before this season. Like I did it in different seasons, not all the way in and just, but God is just so gracious that his word is his word. And I just thank God that I didn't miss my time and space and opportunity. But when he told me to do it, I could have reasoned within myself and say, well, how am I going to, how am I, how am I going to do that? Moved into a hotel in the process because my lease was coming up being ended from where I was living. Had I reasoned within myself, I would have missed God because each step along the way, I had to have faith and not doubt. I couldn't doubt. I could not doubt God in that season of going through the home buying process. And this is just just for me, right? Your, your season of whatever it is God is calling you to, whatever it is you asked him permission to do and he told you yes, you have to trust that he said yes. Every step was ordained from the time I was coming out to look at the property, the, the neighborhood. Listen, I could have reasoned within myself, God was strategic, but I stepped out and I went the way he listen, he want me to go. I Lord knows I'd never want to be on 40 drive 45 because of the traffic. But you know what he did? He caused the GPS to not take me down 45. And I was reasoning with myself, like I know how to get to Conroe. He rerouted me down 59 because he knew had I went up 45, I would have been reasoning with myself, saying, Lord, is this you? Each step of the way required me to seek his face this is where we need to be daily needing to know the direction that God is taking you to where he's calling you to what he wants you to do and not let reasoning stand in the way so what they say your credit score is low God said you can have it so what they say you need to be on your job for two years, three years, whatever the lender is requiring. So what they say you're going to need so much a down payment. Don't reason with what man in the wisdom of what man in this world says. And you say what God said. You believe what God said. Don't doubt what God said. Because the enemy will trick you out of your blessing. God has great things in store for you, but you have got to receive them in the spirit and let them birth out. You have to birth them out and don't let your faith waver. Listen, I just want you guys to be blessed, be encouraged. Don't let doubt have its way. Listen, don't let doubt have its way. It is a destroyer of your destiny. No more doubt. You have no reason to doubt. You have no room to let it fester. That's, that's, listen, it's just but a, a small thing. Even when you, if you doubt yourself, if God told you to do it, do it. We, we can doubt ourselves all the time, but you have to know he that lives within you. Is greater than he that is in this world. And God has given you the power to do it. Because remember we're not doing it in our own strength anyway. So no reason to doubt. Put that to the side. You got to know it. Oh yeah I know this going to work. Oh yeah I know this. Yeah I know this is happening. I know that's mine. Yeah I know that house mine. I know that car mine. Yes I know I'm healed. I'm not doubting. I don't care. Yes God you said you were going to heal me. And my head started hurting or my legs started hurting or my foot. Whatever your issue is, it's going to start throbbing because that demon don't want you to be free. But I declare your freedom on today. I declare and decree that you are healed in the name of Jesus. No more pain. Hallelujah. Receive your healing here on this earth. Hallelujah. Because it's by his stripes you are healed. Come on, it's by his stripes you are healed. For every slash that he took, 
Healing is the children's bread. Don't doubt. Don't let the enemy come and tell you that you are not healed. I don't care what physically you're feeling. Believe God and walk out your salvation. Walk out your healing. Walk out your deliverance. Come on, the enemy tried to teach you, tell you that you wasn't delivered. Yeah, you delivered. He's coming back to try to and, 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 uh, tempt you again to get you to fall back into it. Don't fall for it. Woo. Listen, God is doing a thing. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. No more doubt. No more doubt. Don't doubt if you can get the, get the position. Don't doubt if you can be the supervisor. Come on. Don't doubt if you can own a business. Don't doubt it. Don't, do, don't doubt it. God told you it is so. And your confidence comes from him. You are confident in his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you guys be blessed. Listen, tomorrow, uh, Thursday, is Bible study. 6901 Fairmont Parkway Drive. That's in Pasadena, Texas at the Mouth of God Ministries where Apostle Winston and Professor Jessica Cooper are, are amazing leaders. Listen, there's always a fresh word from God at the Mouth of God Ministries. If you're looking for a church home, you need to come and visit us. If you're looking for healing and deliverance, you need to come and visit us. If you're looking for a word from God, direction and clarity, you need to come and visit us. Hallelujah. There's a word waiting for you. Okay, guys, no more doubt. We are trusting and believing God, and we are not reasoning within ourselves. We're going to listen to the Holy Spirit each step of the way. I don't care if it don't make sense to you. Get out of your flesh. Jump in the Spirit. Even if you don't understand it then, just do what the Spirit of the Lord tells you to do. Hallelujah. And this is going to keep us in step with Him. Amen. I will see you guys later. Have a blessed day. And I love you with the love of the Lord.